Oatly is making a splash in financial markets. The Swedish oat drink company is looking to expand its global footprint, and investors are taking a big gulp of the plant-based milk. Oatly shares made their debut on the Nasdaq a week ago, jumping by more than 19% on the first day of trade, pushing its valuation to $10 billion. The counter last closed at $22.12. That's 30% higher than its IPO price and it's still expected to attract investor attention as more consumers turn to dairy alternatives for health and environmental reasons. Will and Denslow reports from New York. Coffee making can be a science and a work of art and the type of milk you use can have a significant impact. The Monkey Cup in Harlem began carrying oat milk about two years ago due to consumer demand. Baristas here say it's now more popular than almond and whole milk. The oat milk that gives you that creaminess and not that strong flavour that is very, very delicious. The texture is very similar to whole milk when you prepare it for, for a latte, for example. But for me, the, main part, the most important part is the flavour. American consumers have developed a taste for dairy milk alternatives in recent years. It's an industry now worth $2.5 billion in the US and close to $10 billion globally. And Swedish company Oatly has carved out a prominent position in a crowded market. Its revenue more than doubled last year. Oatly says demand completely exploded during the COVID-19 pandemic, reporting triple-digit growth across three continents. The company hopes its IPO will help supply keep up with demand. Oatly declined our interview request, citing the regulatory quiet period surrounding the IPO. The company says it's seeing a 450% annual growth rate in Asia, and analysts say the move to go public could help fuel further growth in that market. They've got partnerships with Starbucks across China, across India, which I think will really target the younger consumers, and I think that's a very sensible way of Oatly looking to seed the category and seed the brand with younger consumers. Studies suggest plant-based milks have a substantially smaller environmental impact than milk from cows. Almond milk was one of the first popular substitutes, but a glass of almond milk requires about 74 litres of water to produce. Experts say there are less thirsty alternatives. If you want to use even less fresh and irrigated water in your food footprint, you can move to oat, hemp, or soy milk, which all have significantly lower water use than almond or dairy milk. Analysts expect the U.S. dairy alternative sector to grow by another billion dollars by 2025. Compared to the dairy industry, it still pales in comparison. But companies like Oatly will hope continued environmental awareness will help prevent consumer demand turning sour. William Denslow, CNA, New York.